And thus, we recommend for June board action that the Shenley Building be closed as a Pittsburgh public school. In 2008, the Pittsburgh Board of Education closed Shenley High School, which had been a national model of integration and achievement. For four years, I was haunted by the sight of the vacant building. Though I couldn't save the school that helped shape me, I could tell its stories. Let me hear your Spartan spirit! I tracked down teachers, parents, policymakers, and alumni from every era and five continents. I taught at Shenley for 35 years. 28 years. 15 years. And there's still a great deal that I don't know about the place. Shenley High School started at Central High in 1855. You had to pass a test to get into it. And most of the teachers were college professors. The school was so segregated, not achieving academically, that the state was asked to take over. The new superintendent said that he would make Shenley such a good school that people would come voluntarily. The best teachers from every school in the city. They wrote about us in the LA Times, the New York Times. Parents were camping out for days. My mom waited in line to get me into the magnet program. I grew up in Iraq, south of Baghdad. When I came to the US, I spoke no English. I mean, I had so many Jewish friends that I wanted to have a bar mitzvah myself. Diversity absolutely forced me to be a better teacher. We were like a family. Some of the teachers were kind of amazing. Teach as if your own child is in the room. And then they tried to shut us down. Resegregation. The board said that housing these three programs at Shenley had no tangible benefit. Yeah, except for feeling good about diversity. The inventor of GPS went to Shenley. When does this book come out? Andy Warhol, Vivian Reed. Muhammad Ali gave a speech in the auditorium. Just say nefs. What happened? I'm assigning you homework. About 200 pages of reading. 